you can see everything from up here. In the distance you can actually see the reactor. Oh, these are the heavy duty cells. Yep. I've never seen one of these before. So right now we have come down the road to what is a military anti-ballistics missile uh, base. And this is where the military would stay and they were actually watching America and all other countries to see if they would be launching missiles. So it was like a defense system. They had these huge antennas which you're about to see and it would let them know when a missile went off somewhere. So this building was a headquarter. Headquarter building. This was the headquarters? Okay. And that is a big antenna array right there. Bayrocks. Oh yeah, the barracks. The barracks, that was what? Uh, cafeteria. Cafeteria? Okay. Canteen. Yeah. So, so the, and on your right hand side you can see lots of buildings. Uh, they are uh, ammunition storages. Oh wow. We saw Soviet propaganda on the wall. Yeah. There's pictures of army soldiers on the walls. So to get here we had to take a very long road and this this antenna behind me, it can be seen from miles and miles away. So what they told the people uh, that it was a radio communications antenna and that uh, they didn't actually tell them what it really was, that they were spying on America. And it's kind of funny because it's this huge, huge grid of antennas and it seems a lot bigger than a radio, <laughs> a radio headquarters. Here you can see Russian Uncle Sam. Russian Uncle Sam. <laughs> so in 1970, they started building this as well as Pripyat and the nuclear power plant, correct? Correct. And uh, that, uh, this antenna was uh, switched on in 1976, same year when first reactor of Chernobyl nuclear power plant started to generate energy. So they need a lot of energy, especially for this. Does that say anything? Uh, going through absolutely forbidden. This is a huge, huge place. It, once you're under it, it looks so much bigger too. Look at that. How tall do you think that is? One, one hundred, I think 151 meters. 151 meters. It's very precise. Uh, Does it say it on here? Lift, lift, elevate. Oh, it's a lift, yeah. At that time it was much easier to climb it. Now we have to use ladder. Right. See ladder. So when they need to do maintenance or something? So it's really not much anymore, they just kind of... Yeah, you know, they, uh, they started to use it in 1976 and they stopped to use it in 1985, even before the accident, because they uh, stopped to renovate, to modernize, to change uh, old analog equipment with new digital equipment. Right. But when accidents happened, all new secret equipment was moved from here to east of Russia and uh, all the secret document documentation was moved from here to Moscow. And they used to say that this place was a summer camp on the map? Yeah, yeah. On the old Soviet map, this place was marked as a summer camp for children. <laughs> and then you come here and see these huge antennas. It's a summer camp for children. Yeah, yeah, these are like monkey bars. So this corridor as long as uh, two antennas. It's one kilometer long. Length wow. of this corridor is to one kilometer. Wow. So it's power corridor, supplied antennas with power and, you know, data cables, wires. 
This was all the equipment they used for the antenna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is only one room. There are lots of such rooms, lots of buildings with equipment. Mm -hmm. It looks like those um, computer grids we saw yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So minus the yeah. minus the yeah, so boards. Yeah. All the electronic, all the electronic equipment. Yeah. But this room was kind of train, training room. Oh wow! This is pretty cool. So and here you can see American missiles. You can see USA Force, U US Air Force, yeah? Can yeah, it says US Air Force on it. Yeah, this is CAT, this is RAM, this is Trident, this MX, that is Doom, this is uh, Minute Man, Titan, Poseidon, Poseidon, hey, Polaris, have you heard about this? I've heard of the names, I haven't heard of them as missiles. So, all specification, speed, range, might, number of, of, of warheads, preparation before launch, uh, altitude of flying, mm -hmm. so all everything, all everything about, <laughs> all secrets. Every secret about every American missile was here. Look at these control boards. Most of the others have been taken out. You can see there's a lot of slots for even more. This is all that's left. Everything's gone to satellites now. So they no longer need all this old, outdated technology. So this is our earth, the mm -hmm. earth, yeah? This is transmitter. This is last layer, called ionosphere. Transmitter was, se was sending signal into ionosphere. It was reflected by ionosphere and come to the earth. Then once again to the ionosphere. This is how uh, the signal was going around the, our earth. Okay. So this is like basic information how it worked. Yep. And when they found a hole in the in the uh... yeah yeah it means uh, yeah when they find a hole ion ionosphere and this is not, it means uh, signal go far away and never come back right as it can be reflected by maybe moon by the moon you know mm -hmm. and so that means there's a missile that went through yeah or a space shuttle you know. Or a space shuttle. Yeah, but they know if okay if that they know something. Yeah, they know. Oh, Maybe. so that's that's what it covered. Yeah. So this exactly one one of third one third. So there were two other ones. Yeah, two other ones that covered the rest of the world. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the tree. Yeah. And it continues here. <laughs> it's like three D. Oh yeah. So what what was this? This is a uh, what street? Nothing, it's just art. Just oh, it's, art. it's just art? Oh, so this isn't anything we've been to? Yeah, no, no, it's just art. Oh, okay. As you can see, it's, you know, uh, so, uh, Soviet art was 95% propaganda and 5% hidden propaganda. <laughs> As you can see, it's a nice picture. Right. Like future, like light Soviet future. Everybody happy, everything brand new, cars, trolley buses. So they want to show a light future. Like so that sign. Yeah, yeah. You you know you see that you see that, yeah? Yeah. And you you wanna live here. Exactly. <laughs> so and it means you you work harder. You work harder for the Soviet Union. Yeah. And then you have this nice bright future here. Yeah. So this is scanning to see if you have any radiation. Are you good? You know, it uh, cannot be. Uh, it's locked. It's going to be open, open uh, until uh, it check you that you clean. Okay. If you it, uh, this frame check you and you clean, it's open. It's locked. Place the hands here. Oh, look at that! Nope. 
<laughs> How will I know when it's ready? Yeah, it's clean, clean. Aha! No radiation today. So, has, have you ever seen anyone have radiation? Yeah, no. All right, you guys, so that has concluded the two-day Chernobyl tour. I want to say thank you so much, Igor. I really appreciate you You're touring welcome. me around for the past two days. It's been a lot of fun, uh, so make sure you check out Solo East Travel. I'll have the little link down below so you can see their website. If you want to do the exact same tour that I did, you can do that with them. They had me out here, and I had a great time. So thank you again to them, okay, and thank you I will very see much. you. Thank you very much uh, for your coming, and I hope to see you uh, in Ukraine one more time. Hopefully again yeah, sometime. Uh, maybe after next disaster in Ukraine. <laughs> uh, hopefully not, but we'll see. <laughs> so get it. So bye. <laughs> bye. Take care, man. Imagine you just have a bed right here, and you have this much space to walk around in for two people, <laughs> and then they have to use this toilet right here.